hello guys how are you doing today you are welcome back this is news across nigeria we are still on the 18th day of march 2020 so uh, my time here is 4 42 in the afternoon so uh, this is what we do here giving you update what is happening across nigeria so what do i have for you um at this time so namdi kanu explains why buhari cannot address nigeria okay if you check my previous um, episode remember i gave you the story how senate uh, during a plenary session um, asked buhari to address nigeria over this uh, chinese uh, disease okay i really don't want to call its real name because of youtube policy okay over this chinese disease so um namdi kanu we all know the leader of IPOB. Today, when is they reacted to the Senate's call that President Buhari should immediately address Nigeria over the scotch of this uh, Chinese disease. But looking at it critically and squarely, we are all Nigerians, okay? Looking at it, I really don't see or uh, believe that it will get to the extent or it will get to the point of the Senate asking the President to do what he should have done okay the senate asking uh the president of the federal republic to do what he know is his duty all right so uh that is by the way so following the outbreak of this disease in the country Buari had failed to address nigerians on the disease that has continued to spread yes it is spreading so um, as of today nigeria have about eight confirmed eight cases okay remember a few weeks ago we only had one cases uh, the italian man that we are yet to know his name even his identity all right so um but the lawmaker had changed or uh, charged the president to give an update on what his government was doing to address the issue of this disease just like how other president do donald trump is giving update giving his citizen hope telling them the measures they are taking to make sure they contain this uh, disease that have no cure but uh, the president of nigeria is here to do so so however namdi kanu claimed that buhari would be on max as jubril al sudan if allowed to address a press conference on the scourge of this disease. So in a statement, uh, the IPOB leader said Buhari has no interest in the disease infecting Nigerians. Can we say the country in the world where lawmakers beg a supposedly democratically elected president to address them in a time of unprecedented global pandemic? For starters, and for the benefit of those intellectually challenged Nigerians, Nigeria is not a nation and can never be. What it is according to Chief Obafemi Awolowo is a mere geopolitical expression created by a Scottish man and Christian Nigeria by his English concubine for purely British economic interest. Anybody referring to Nigeria as a nation cannot be regarded as an intelligent being. Jubil al Sudan, masquerading as Buhari, cannot address the hapless British experimental guinea pigs named Nigerians because Abba Kiari and the rest of the cabal are afraid that he will be unmarked during cross examination by journalists. He will be forced to stand for us up close and personal as other heads of state around the world have done and continue to do to answer searching questions about this disease jubril is a sudanese citizen he has no interest in uh, the china disease kills all inhabitants of if the, he has no interest if this disease kills all inhabitants of nigerian what Abakiari detects is what he does. Sadly, Abakiari and his fellow handlers of the Zoo Republic will dare not hold an open conference in the garden of their Asurok because 
that is tantamount to exposing their fake Buhari because they know the heat of the sun will inevitably melt Jubil's, Jubril's makeup and a combination of close proximity of TV camera lengths and questions from journalists will complete the process of unraveling the full and fraud of the country. Let them try and see the world is waiting. Alright guys, so uh, that is uh, the message signed by the IPOB leader, uh, Nam Dekan, explaining the reason why uh, Buhari cannot address Nigeria. Okay, so uh, you have heard it all. All right, and um, personally, a lot everybody was calling for this, and people is also until the rep, uh, the House of uh, Rep and the Senate have to make the call. Okay. I really don't think it should reach the point that the Senate need to tell Buhari, the President of Federal Republic of Nigeria, to do what he is supposed to do. Ever since this um, disease uh, sparked outrages in different countries, I think it has infected about 159 uh, countries so far, and the death toll, um, I think it should be up to 5,000 plus and uh, 700 thousands of uh, cases okay so other countries the president addressed their citizens giving them hope telling them the measures uh, what his administration or government is doing to make sure they protect their life remember when we voted for these people okay when they swore an oath they swore to protect their life and property of every citizen all right so in other countries their president their ministers they have ad addressed their citizens giving them hope uh, giving them telling them the measures what the administration is doing to make sure they contain this disease because this is a, a global uh, epidemic but uh, the reverse is the case uh, in Nigeria, we are still waiting. Uh, let's see what is going to happen now that the Senate have heard the cry of Nigerians. Uh, the likes, a lot of people, some activists, not just one. People is wondering why have uh, Buhari? Why is he yet to address Nigeria? Even ever since the first case, okay. But the Minister of Health is the one, uh, you know, addressing Nigeria about uh, this uh, disease. Uh, that is fast spreading so far in Nigeria. Okay, the Minister of Health has been the one addressing the Nigeria, but I believe the President uh, should have done so, at least for once, ever since the first case. But now we have uh, eight cases in Nigeria, and we are yet to hear um, the President addressing uh, the citizens. All right. Okay, guys. So that is the update I have for you. Uh, today, the 18th day of March 2020, okay, as uh, Namdi Khan react to the call by the Senate to, you know, asking Buhari to address the citizens of Nigeria over this uh, disease outbreak, because this is about life and death of your citizens. You need to address the citizens, okay, and also even uh, uh, the senator in Ed Assembly, Shewusani, also call for mr president at least to visit remember what happened on sunday the blast in lagos uh, shehusani asked the president to address the country on this deadly disease also visit the uh, the scene where the bomb blast sorry um it's not about bomb sorry it's mistake where the uh, pipeline blast happened in um, lagos okay um he's asking the president to visit those seen okay at least to show concern show uh, visit the family of the victims and so on okay so if you have anything to contribute you can put it down in the comment section below so don't forget to subscribe guys because we keep you updated what is happening across nigeria okay subscribe make sure you turn on the bell notification so that whenever we upload a new video a new story like this you'll be the first to get it see you guys in another video